Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. This video is all about well through honest means as per Vedic Astrology. So what do you mean by well through honest means? And the title, the reason why I kept this title of this video, lot many people keep asking me that Satish, lot many people keep earning their wealth. That can be through honest means or also through in honest means. Okay, so that means uh, what is there any combination that you can able to see in astrological perspective with respect to this kind of aspect is what the question I received from many of my viewers so that's the reason I'm making this video let me first and about understand about wealth astrology which of the planets are responsible for providing you the wealth which of the planets which are the houses in your birth chart are responsible for providing the wealth first and foremost thing Jupiter is the first rank planet which provides you the wealth in your life and also second rank I would like to give for Saturn third rank I would like to give for Venus lot many people debate with me that Venus holds the first rank in terms of Vedic astrology but let me tell you one thing lot many people uh, based on the research that I have performed on analyzing hundreds of birth charts that Jupiter is the primary karaka for providing you the wealth because along with Jupiter, you can form many wealth yogas, which you cannot be able to form with Saturn or Venus. Okay. Example, Rahu and Venus brings you some kind of negative yoga in your birth chart. Although Rahu and Venus are friends, but these two malefic planets, because when Venus also a kind of benefic planet, but it will, if it, if it is conjunct with Rahu, which is the karmic planet or a wealth or, a, you know, malefic planet that gives the malefic results so it cannot form a yoga but whereas Jupiter if you take any planet Jupiter plus Sun brings you one kind of wealth yoga Jupiter plus moon brings you Gajakeshari yoga which brings you wealth and fame and reputation and whereas um, you know your Jupiter and Mars brings you some kind of uh, leadership yoga you know Saraswati yoga with Jupiter and Mercury okay and Jupiter with Venus also it brings you Emperor yoga or Aparakubera yoga Okay, these are all wealth yogas in Vedic Astrology. So any wealth yoga that you take in Vedic Astrology that have the association with planet Jupiter. So any Jupiter conjunction in your birth chart, especially in the 2nd house, 5th house, 7th, 9th, 10th and 11th house brings you tremendous amount of wealth in your life. And also if at all you have Jupiter happen to be your 2nd house Lord and is placed in the 5th house, 7th house and 9th or 10th or 11th house and the vice versa. That is also an indication that you will be making very good money, especially in the Jupiter planet period. The Jupiter Mahadasha or the Jupiter Antardasha. We have to see your birth chart to understand that specific time period. And also we need to calculate the kind of aspects that Jupiter is receiving. It's not just the Jupiter. Please understand there are other eight planets which also have the equal importance in your birth chart. Okay. And well through honest means, of course, if at all Jupiter, the wealth Karaka is not associated with any kind of malefic planets like Mars and also uh, Venus, Rahu and Saturn. If at all Jupiter is not in contact with Saturn, Rahu or even the Ketu for that matter. Of course Jupiter and Ketu brings you a little bit of spirituality in your life but of course Ketu is also considered as a malefic planet. Especially Jupiter with Rahu brings you wealth with, in, with dishonest means. So because Rahu and Jupiter is considered as a Guru Chandala Yoga. That means this person will get into some kind of uh, bad habits and uh, you know uh, the things which are not ethical in nature okay this person will get into that kind of uh, you know related to arenas in the life and uh, that's how he'll be uh, making the money out of it okay and jupiter plus rahu conjunction also brings you a little bit of obstacles in terms of business expansion and growth as well and also Jupiter plus Rahu conjunction also brings a little bit of sudden changes in your life, sudden downfall, especially in the Rahu period, because Rahu is a karmic planet. As Rahu brings you good results only in the 6th, 8th and 12th houses. Rest of all the houses, you will not be able to bring you good results. Okay. And Jupiter plus Ketu is a little different from Jupiter plus Rahu. Jupiter plus Rahu definitely it's a malefic yoga, as I mentioned to you, but Jupiter plus Ketu conjunction brings you spirituality in your life but you might have come across the people who are non-spiritual who don't believe in God who are atheist in nature okay but still if at all you see their horoscope the Jupiter plus K2 conjunction will be there okay so this is because of the reason that this person might not be spiritual because of 
Rahu's influence. Rahu is more, more stronger than Ketu in their bar chart. Okay, if Rahu is conjunct with Venus, so that means Venus will be acting as planet Rahu. Because Rahu have a planet of amplification. Whichever the planet Rahu is sitting, it takes off that energy in the bar chart. So we have to calculate the double the energy of planet Rahu. If at all Rahu is in conjunct with any other planet, even with Sun, even with Moon, even with Mars, even with Mercury, any other planet. Okay. So it takes off that positive qualities unless it is sitting in the 6th, 8th and 12th house. So always it's better to have Rahu and Ketu sitting alone in the birth chart instead of having a conjunction. And Rahu with Saturn aspect makes you amplification again. So the malefic aspect will be increasing with Rahu and Saturn conjunction. Rahu aspect on Saturn, Saturn aspect on Rahu. The people who know astrology might understand in a better way what I'm talking about okay and Rahu plus moon conjunction brings you a little bit of you know stress related issues especially in the first seventh and twelfth houses even in the ninth house first seventh ninth and twelfth houses and but Rahu and moon conjunction in the twelfth house brings you foreign settlements even in the ninth house brings you foreign settlements foreign travel opportunities but at the same time, it cannot bring you that kind of bliss, that kind of uh, attraction in your life. There will be some kind of uh, dishappiness in your heart because of some reason. Maybe you might not get what you want. You might not get what you're looking for. Always there will be some that kind of craving in your life. You'll not be satisfied with, with small things. Okay. So coming back to the things which I'm talking about the uh, well through honest means if at all Jupiter is in conjunct with Rahu if Jupiter is in conjunct with Saturn if Jupiter is in conjunct with Venus as well for that matter but that Venus should be in the enemy sign okay not in the friendly sign if it is in the friendly sign obviously you'll be um, getting the money through honest means so if Jupiter is in conjunction with Rahu then you'll be making the money through dishonest means okay so thank you so much for watching this video. If at all you need my astrological consultation, the link is mentioned in the description section. Do book for an astrological consultation. Once I get a consultation order, I'll be able to help you with a complete analysis pertaining to your individual birth chart. And I would like to tell you what are, where the planets are placed in your birth chart. And also I can able to provide the prediction analysis pertaining to your, those planets in the birth chart. Okay. So thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.